last week, Uganda Revenue Authority impounded these 100 Pioneer Easy Buses for the failure to pay customs tax as required by law. It was expected that the company would pay up to in two days, but a week later, the buses are still parked here at Nambole Stadium. The tax Pioneer Easy Bus owes URA is covered under the East African Customs Management Act. According to the Memorandum of Understanding between the bus company and the tax authority, Pioneer was to pay at least 9 billion shillings it incurred in importing the buses in December 2011 by January 2013. The tax was to be paid in 12 installments, but Pioneer paid only 1 billion shillings, breaching the MOU. Now, URA is warning that if the embattled company does not fulfill its tax obligations by Wednesday next week, which is nine days from now, the buses will be sold off in a public auction. But as it is now, with the enforcement measure or the grounding of those buses is still in force uh, until uh, Wednesday. Our efforts to reach the Pioneer Easy Bus managers for a comment proved futile. When we drove to the company's offices in Bugolobi, a Kampala suburb, we found that they had shifted a few days ago. Many members of the public who prefer the buses due to their relatively low fares have been forced to return to the relatively expensive and time-consuming commuter taxis that they had abandoned. They can no longer make the little savings they did by using Pioneer. Pioneer Easy Bus was thrust headlong into business in March 2012 following a strike by commuter taxi drivers. The company came in to stem that public transport crisis but stayed on even after the taxi drivers resumed work amidst demands by Kampala Capital City Authority KCCA that Pioneer pays at least 3 billion shillings it holds in license fees. The company also battled at least two staff strikes over pay. The Parliamentary Committee on Local Government and Public Service is investigating alleged mismanagement in KCCA and the Pioneer Bus Controversy is also expected to feature highly in the probe. Nabakoza Lydia, Chitimbo Thomas, NBS Television.